Welcome dear students of primary three. Today we're going to talk about a new lesson called the perimeter of a square and a rectangle. The perimeter of a square and the rectangle. Now it's not a new lesson for you. You took this before but we're going to talk about something new today. So let's start. What do we mean by perimeter? If you remember what we meant by a perimeter in uh, last term, what do we mean by perimeter? Let's watch this um, video together. Look, this man is walking along the sides of this shape. If you remember, this is called a pentagon because it has five sides. Look at this man. It's walking around the shape. So this is the perimeter of the pentagon. What we mean by a perimeter is going around the shape. Okay? Now, let's see. How about the square? It's the same idea. We want to go around the shape. Look at that. The perimeter of a square is we start from one point and we go along all the sides so what do we mean by a, a square what do we mean by a square what do you know about what do you know about the sides of the square yes i hear you saying the sides are all equal so if the sides are all equal then there is no difference between this side and this and this and this so uh, if this is five centimeter so this will be 5 cm and this will be 5 cm and this will be 5 cm. So they are all the same. So if I want to find the perimeter, okay, I am going to add 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. And we start from some place and go around the shape. So the perimeter, instead of adding side plus side plus side plus side, we are going to, yes, multiply the side by 4 because they are all the same. So 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 makes no difference than the side times 4. So this is a general rule that we are going to use. So let's summarize what we said here. The square has how many sides? Four equal sides. Four equal sides. So the perimeter is the sum of the sides. So the perimeter, as because they are equal, so I'm going to say it's side times four. So if I want to find the side, I'm going to divide the perimeter by four. This is the relation between multiplication and division that you took before. If you have 2 times 4 equal to 8, then 8 divided 4 is equal to 2. 8 divided 4 is equal to 2. Or 8 divided 2 is equal to 4. So if I have the perimeter is equal to side times 4, so the side is equal to perimeter divided 4. Okay? Let's see examples to apply this now. Find the perimeter of the square. Its side is 5 cm. So we're going to find the perimeter by two methods or two strategies. Now, the first strategy is adding the sides up. So 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 is equal to 20. Now, so the perimeter of the square, or I can say that perimeter is equal to what? Side times 4, because they are 4 equal sides, 4 equal sides. All the sides are equal. So the perimeter can be 5 times 20. If you remember, 5 times 20 is equal to what? It's equal, uh, 5 times 2, I'm, uh, uh, 5 times 4, I'm sorry, is equal to 20. 
So 5 times 4 is equal to 20. If you remember it, uh, it's okay. If you don't, then count by 5, 4 times 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay. Let's see another example. This is a square where the side length is 6 centimeter. So the perimeter is equal to, yes, 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 because all the sides are 6. So 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. If you remember your doubles, 6 plus 6 is 12. And 6 plus 6 is 12. 12 and 12 is 24. Okay, now, or we can use the rule. The perimeter is equal to side times 4. So 6 times 4 is, the side is what? 6 times 4 is equal to 24. Okay, let's see another example. Now here he didn't draw the, tri the, the square for us, but we can imagine it. Find the perimeter of the square whose side length is 5 cm. And we said, if we have a word problem, what do we do? We circle the given and underline the required. What does he want from us? He wants to find the perimeter. So the perimeter is equal to, the perimeter is equal to side plus side plus side plus side. I can find it using addition or I can find it using multiplication. The side length is five. Okay, so the perimeter is five plus five plus five plus five. So 5 plus 5 is 10, and 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 and 10 are 20. Okay, or we can use the rule of the uh, perimeter, which is perimeter of square is equal to side times 4. So the perimeter is equal to 5 times 4 is equal to 20. Sarah's flowers are planted in a garden in the shape of a square of side length 18 meters. So this is the given. This is he gave me this. The side length of the, of the garden. So the side of the garden, this side is equal to 18 meters. What is the length of the outside fence? Sarah want to put a fence like this one around her garden and it's a square garden. So what does he want? He wants the side length of the outside fence. If we imagine that this is the garden, okay, and we are going to put fence around it. We're going to put a fence fence around the garden here and here like that a wooden fence okay around the garden so this means that I am going to go along the outside of the go of the square which is yes I hear you saying the perimeter excellent excellent yes now so I am going to find the perimeter of this square. So the side length is 18 meters. Let me wipe this out. Okay. And the perimeter is side times 4, which is equal to 18 times 4 is 72. Now let's stop here and ask ourselves, how do we find 18 times 4? Did we take this multiplication before? Yes, excellent. From the previous lesson, we can find the multiplication using the distrib distributive property. So I'm going to do what? 18, I'm going to divide it to 10 and 8. 10 plus 8 is 18, right? And then multiply it by 4. So I'm going to find 10 times 4 first. And I'm going to find... 8 times 4. 10 times 4 is easy. It's 40. 
8 times 4, if you remember it, if you memorize it quickly, it's 32. If you don't, so you have to count by 4, 8 times. So, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. So, this is 32. Now, to add 40 to 32, we add the ones. 0 and uh, 2 is 2. And 4 and 3 is 7. So, it's 72 meters. So, if Sarah wants to put a fence around the garden, so she needs 72 meters of wood to make this fence. So she's going to go to the um, carpenter and ask him for 72 meters of wood to make this garden, okay? I hope that you understand. Now let's read another example. Oh, here he says, find the side length of the following square. Find the side length of the square. Okay, now this is a square and we have, what do we have? We have the perimeter, 20. Okay, so these, this 20 is divided along four sides, four equal sides. So I want the perimeter to be 20 and the perimeter is adding the, the sides, I'm sorry, is adding the sides or multiplying the sides the side by 4. So to find the side, I'm going to divide the perimeter by 4. So let's see this side is equal perimeter divided 4. So this here, I'm going to divide the uh, 20 by 4. I will get 5. Okay, how do we find this 5? We go to table 4, or we count by 4 till we reach 20. So it's 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. We counted 5. So the uh, 20 divided 4 is 5. Let's see another example. Perimeter is equal 36. So the side is going to be equal to what? It's going to be... Yes, we are going to divide the perimeter by 4 and we get 9. How do we get 9? We count by 4 till we reach 36 and we get 9. The next square, the perimeter is 40. So how do we get the side? We divide the, side, the perimeter by 4 and we get the side equal to 10. So this is it for today, primary 3. Until we meet again, see you. Bye-bye.